Hey, I'm Jordan Thomas Green from Cisco DevNet, and today we're talking about DevNet innovators. Here we have Prabhu, he's from Compass, and they're making huge innovations around the mining, manufacturing, oil and gas industry. Prabhu, can you tell us a little bit more about Compass? Sure, Jordan. Compass, spelled with an X, is really changing the uh, industry, is an IoT company, Internet of Things company, for the manufacturing sector. We, we see a huge opportunity in connecting assets. These assets include things like mining trucks, it includes manufacturing machines, uh, some are moving, some are, some are stationary, but they're just not connected to anything, uh, but they actually have a lot of uh, uh, value for the, end, for the enterprise. So we connect those assets and, and move the data to the, uh, to the cloud and provide enterprise efficiency. So we have a, a pretty easy way to do that. Thanks, Prabhu. Uh, so could you describe a little bit more field intelligence as a service and how that connects with SCADA and a lot of these other technologies? Absolutely, Jordan. Field intelligence as a service. Uh, Compass has a platform called FAS, F-A-A-S, Field Intelligence as a Service. Uh, we see that uh, by connecting to assets easily, uh, uh, we can actually offer a tremendous benefit. So the field assets we're talking about here include uh, mining trucks, water pumps, energy meters, anything that is pr moving machinery, rotating machinery, that is that is uh, uh, doing a uh, manufacturing work. So what we, we see that there are about 10 billion assets today in the industry, growing to about 25 billion, but they have to be connected, they have to be uh, smart, they have to have actionable data. So the FAST platform is, is transversal across all these different industries that we talked about, mining, oil and gas and manufacturing, and uh, provides a very easy way uh, to, to provide, connect to these assets and provide enterprise value. Wow, thanks. So, developers are really harnessing their edge and doing a lot of fog computing and I really think that it's allowing a lot of transformations in the industry and Cisco is really leading some of those API developments. Can you describe some of the APIs and Cisco services that your developers are using that are enabling you? Absolutely. We have a big vision to, to change the industry and we cannot do it without partners. So we started working with Cisco for about a year back, uh, actually in an IoT conference in San Francisco. And what became very clear to us was that you need smartness and intelligence in the field, close to these assets. And Cisco's um, 829 product, which is recently released, it does exactly that. We were able to actually uh, place the, this 829 product in a, in a moving mining truck, and it's automatically connected to all the key parameters of the, of the truck. Some of these mining trucks are, they are $4 million in value, and they are about 1,000 tons. And they have around 200 sensors. There's a lot of, uh, you know, intelligence needed on the edge. So A29 and the newly released IOX framework, the applications that come with it, really enable the multiple communications: Wi-Fi, 4G, LTE, um, cellular. Uh, so what we do is we we use the A29 in these assets, and then we use the IOX framework. And then we have this our product called the Compass Edge, which runs the light SCADA. Uh, we provides context to these assets, uh, telemetry and GIS, and the, and, the, and the fog level. And then we take that data into into the, into what we call the Compass Cloud, as I've shown here. And then there we use a, a variety of services like Cisco Analytics, uh, machine learning, uh, and, and it's all in part of the Cisco Meta Cloud, uh, the Metapod. And the, the great thing about his is can, we can do this very scalably at, at a fraction of the cost of what's done in the industry today. Today it costs about $40,000 a point to connect to these assets. We believe we can do that at $400 a point. And that's enabled by uh, a lot of services that Cisco offers uh, to be scalable. But the most important thing is that when we move the data into the cloud, uh, when a mining truck breaks down for half hour, they lose millions of dollars. So we can actually look at when a truck is, how the truck is operating, do predictive maintenance, and all these different applications that we can run, remote monitoring, and so on and so forth, so that your operations never have to stop. And then we show that in dashboards for the enterprise, a percent improvement in productivity in some of these uh, asset-intensive industries is about $170 million. So the industry is about 37% efficiency, a long way to go. So we're very excited to work with Cisco engineers and uh, Cisco uh, developers. Uh, and really, uh, you know, I uh, want to acknowledge your leadership here in making this possible for the industrial market. Well, wow, thanks, thanks. So it sounds like fog computing, harnessing uh, at the edge, um, 
has really like been able to provide a lot of value uh, for Compass and for your customers, um, and also combined with uh, Cisco Metapod. It, it, it's uh, really remarkable. So could you describe the value proposition, developing at the edge, uh, edge analytics, fault computing, what that means um, in, in terms of your value? Jordan, that's a great question. Um, you know, we're in a different world today. You know, everybody has a cell phone. Everybody's, you know, auto you know, automatically connected. But that's not the case for the industrial market, right? We believe that be, as by moving a lot of intelligence like FOC computing and edge computing and edge intelligence closer to the assets, when we call assets, the manufacturing equipment themselves, we could actually do real-time intelligence, real-time analytics, which has never been possible. So these machines are running, uh, you know, 24-7. These trucks are running 24-7. And, and for example, tomorrow I'm going to be showing a demo of a, of a guy uh, driving a truck and then by being very close to edge at 829 being on the truck we've, we've actually identified that these guys are st these trucks are moving 24 7 right so these guys are very tired they actually sleep on the truck so, so we have a fatigue sensor that we use at the edge and then drive it through the fog and all the way to the cloud and bring it right back. And the value proposition is very important. You, know, you, can, you have to do it, uh, if you have three value propositions we are talking about here. We can deploy it rapidly, we are capital light at the edge, and then we can easily scale from one to 10 to 1,000 to 10,000 devices. You can see the number of devices in the marketplace. There are billions, not millions. So edge intelligence and fog computing and, 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 and cloud technology really enable us to do that, which was just not possible five years back. So we're ex very excited about this and here in Cisco Live and uh, you know, a lot of great showcases and very excited about uh, contributing on my presentation tomorrow. Uh, thanks, Prabhu. That was a, uh, a, a great insight into some of the different things that uh, Compass is doing and, and how to really harness your edge. So uh, thank you for that. Thank you.